Seven years ago, I had the incredible opportunity to create one of the first digital design systems for Financial Dagblad, a leading financial newspaper in the wow. Netherlands. And back then, we were navigating the early days of digital design with Sketch. But here's the thing, design evolves and so do we. So fast forward to 2024 and my skills have grown exponentially. So I felt it was time to revisit the project and do it justice with the expertise and tools I have today. So I challenged myself to redesign the entire system in just one week using the powerful capabilities of Figma. Whether you're a business owner looking to elevate your digital platforms or a fellow designer seeking inspiration, stick around. I promise you won't want to miss this. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Philo Wallage, a seasoned UX designer with over 20 years of experience working for top tier companies around the globe. All right, let's address the pink elephant in the room. And for those who don't know, the FD newspaper has been printed on salmon pink paper for ages. It's what gives it that unique look. You know, it's financial focused. The moment you see it, you know it, it's that pink hue, that's finance. But here's the thing, this iconic pink poses a unique challenge when transitioning to the digital world, contrast ratio. While it works great in print, online, it's a different story. Contrast becomes crucial, especially for accessibility. And after analyzing the current state, I found several contrast issues of the FD website that could make parts of the website difficult to see for people with visual impairments. For instance, look at the sidebar menu with a darker background. Using the brand's blue color here, is a big no-no. Similarly, this green text indicates positive information, which is pretty important for FD readers who keep track of stock numbers. However, the contrast is just not sufficient. Funny enough, even my go-to success color from my own design system barely passes the contrast test on this background. I manually adjusted it to a slightly darker tint to ensure better visibility. These adjustments might seem small, but they make a huge difference in usability and accessibility, ensuring that everyone, regardless of their visual ability, can access and benefit from the content is a priority in my design process. So addressing these contrast issues not only stays true to FD's iconic look, but also enhances the online experience for all users. So let's move on to the next part of the redesign. For all my design projects, I start with Untitled UI. It's an incredibly versatile design system that I can adapt to any brand out there. And trust me, this project Put it to the test. If you're curious, I've included a link in the description where you can download a free version of Untitled UI and explore it yourself. The first thing, the color palette. Well, it was probably the toughest part, especially dealing with that infamous salmon pink. I started by collecting screenshots from the current FD website to get a sense of the existing color scheme. Interestingly, the current website uses two different background colors. The home page has a darker background, while the article pages and cards use a lighter shade. This inconsistency was my starting point. After a lot of back and forth and experimenting with tints.dev, I finally configured the right tints and shades. Fortunately, the brand's blue color was much easier to work with. For now, I skipped creating custom success, warning and error colors. Instead. I used the one step darker tint for better visibility. And now let's talk about typography. FD uses Arnhem, a strong but somewhat clunky serif font that's quite wide. And I wanted to keep the serif font for display purposes, but I needed something more condensed. So I landed on PP Editorial New. The only downside is it lacks a semi-bold or medium weight, which is kind of limiting. For regular text, FD uses Proxima Nova, which is fine. However, for my design system, I use Inter, and I decided to stick with it for now. Next, I reviewed the effect styles, spacing, radius and grids to see how everything came together. Spoiler alert, it wasn't perfect right away. I had to go through the entire variables to set the right tints and shades for different elements. It took some digging, but the results were worth it. So after meticulously adjusting and a lot of fine tuning, the new design system is not only more visually appealing, but also significantly more accessible. So let's take a closer look at some of these changes in action. And 
And there you have it. This is how I recreated the FD design system from scratch. Well, from scratch, of course, like I said, I use the Untitled UI design system, but it's still a lot of work. And as you can see, it takes some time to set up, but once you have it, it's super easy to create multiple screens. So it's definitely worth the investment. If you do have any more questions about design systems, leave them behind in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Of course, subscribe to the channel and like this video if you did. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon.